we seem to think that our life, the daily life one leads, is something separate, away from the whole world of travail, misery, confusion. We think the individual, the you, is different from the rest of the world. The world, with all its atrocities, wars, inequality and injustice. When you look a little more closely, then you will see what you are, your daily life, what you think, what you feel, is the external world. You are the world. You are the human being that has made this world, the world so utterly in disorder, the world that is crying in great sorrow, helpless. It is you, the human being, have built this world. So that world outside you is not different from the world in which you live, your world, your private life. So, in bringing about a radical change in the human being, in you, in the individual, you are naturally bringing about a radical change in the structure and the nature of society, which means the individual, the you, the human being, has to go into the whole structure of himself. One must understand oneself, how you are made, both biologically as well as psychologically. If you want to think rationally, sanely, you have to know yourself. You have to search out the causes of why you think and do certain things, why you are aggressive, brutal, acquisitive, dominating, possessive, which are all the causes of conflict between human beings. It's only by seeing actually what is taking place in your life, observing it very closely, without any condemnation, then you will discover for yourself that the mind can be free.